All right, as you can see, the first door is up here on our Corvette C7 today. Passenger side door is up and functioning beautifully. Just put her up a few minutes ago. Bring that door down, then you let her close. Beautiful. Opens out, stops right here, and then it just makes its way on up. Nice. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Alrighty, so now it's our driver's side. I probably didn't post the video I made before the installation uh, where I was explaining the differences between installing on a base model or a Z51 Corvette C7 versus a Z06. This is a Z06 model, uh, a 2016 Z06. So on all Corvette C7s, when you're installing the vert vertical door hinges, you have to be careful of this guy right here because he likes to be right here in the way. So you do have to push it out of the way while you're putting the hinge on. Um, so you're, you're with one hand, you're pushing that out while you're putting the hinge on, tightening bolts with the other hand, making sure everything's lined up, using your adhesive to hold the door in place. And then of course you have that in the way. So definitely probably more of a two person job to make it easier, especially, especially if it's your first time doing it. Here on our driver's side, I've got to deal with these transmission lines. That's what they that that's what they are. In the original video before I, I do the installation, before I do the installation, I'm explaining the differences. You would not normally see this on a C7 or a C7 Z51. This is just on the Z06s. So I'll, I'll have to pull these forward. I'll have to tighten them and pull them forward so that way they're out of the way as I put this hinge on. So that's a that's a bit of a rigmarole that I've got to do. And as a, as a one-man army, uh, it is a little bit difficult, which is why I did the passenger side first because this one was going to be the easier one. So I wanted to go ahead and get it on, get it out of the way. Now time to focus on our driver's side. All right, beautiful. Well, thank you all for tuning in and checking it out today. Be sure, uh, you know, if you like the channel and all that, be sure to follow us on the other social media accounts. I'm terrible at posting all the videos. If I posted every video and picture I, I did every day, there'd be like seven posts on every cars. You'd see all the nitty grittiness and stuff. A lot of times I don't like to show off maybe some of the things that might have been inherently wrong uh, with the client's car. Like for instance, like if there was a modification that was done and as I'm taking the car off, I realize like maybe someone riveted some stuff in or maybe someone, someone put like an aftermarket glow kit and they siliconed the skirt to the bumper or something weird. And now I'm having to carve and like do some some mad science work to get it off because it's not it's not that's not a factory piece it's not something i was expecting um i don't like to show a lot of that because i don't want to show you know other mechanics and maybe their work and mistakes they made i, I don't want to do that so um, but i do create a lot of content and videos that just never get posted because we're just always on the move but thank you all for watching the ones that i do post <laughs> take care y'all